on my way to the breakfast with the champions. An unofficial event where we hang out and probably the most relaxed people in the whole building since we don't ever have to go through this again. Although there's some anxiety with the people that we've helped, we're cheering them on. So this morning we're going to Trader's Grill. Here they are. Good morning, gentlemen. Ed Tate, world champion. Lance Kaching Miller. I love it. I love it. The master mentor, as Mark Brown would say, David Brooks. The reigning world champion. These are the gentlemen doing the documentary Speak Easy, and they're here attending the breakfast with the champions. Now, we don't usually get press coverage like this every day. This is kind of a different day. How's it going this morning? Going great. I'm still not used to this camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But otherwise, See, it's very really fantastic. Get used to it. Right? Uh -huh. Because everywhere you go, from now on. Oh, it's going to be like this? Oh, yes. yes. People, people on motorbikes, I won't make right. That's right. <laughs> Quite a few districts. I went down to Canada. Uh, where else did I speak? New Jersey. What's really interesting is the night before you win the championship, no one knows who you are. Exactly. And but by and large, people leave you alone. And then all of a sudden, the moment you're announced, there's this rush. I remember there was a buddy of mine who came down from Colorado, who's the only person from Colorado. And I says, hey, all right, let's get together and have lunch. You know, so he's there, I'm here, I'm thinking, okay, we take a few pictures, we're done. Mm. <laughs> Two and a half hours later, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still signing, you know, can't reach you, yeah. Exactly. You can't reach you. And it was so scary because you get off the stage and all of a sudden, all these people just rush towards you. And for the first time in my life, you know, I said, well, okay, this is what celebrities go through every single day. Yeah. Yeah. How did that feel? So, wasn't it weird? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. You have to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. I got a question real quick. Did it make your wife uncomfortable? No, not really. I mean, she's, she's been very good about it. I'm actually very surprised. Because she, very, I, very I would see she kind of back away and like, I don't want to get involved in this. She kind of backed off a little yeah. bit. And she... so, but uh, that was the same for me. I wish I could back away. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's face just appeared. I'm up there, then this big, bright, beaming face just sticks around the corner and he goes, Congratulations, enjoy the moment, we'll talk later. <laughs> it was almost like it was almost like it was like just sent in like a holograph. Yeah. 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 And it With like, the clouds oh, around it and the And then I have all these pictures holding my trophy and I was holding it back this. Oh. So, but I have my trophy in this hand. I had I have my trophy in this hand. Shaking hands, shaking hands, shaking hands. I go up to my room three hours later and I pick up the phone to call my parents and my arms go. Going. Yeah, <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why, but it was because he was holding my trophy and all that time. It's like it's like um, you know trophy fatigue. You yeah. Know. <laughs> so the next Be thankful you didn't win in 1990, 1991, or 92. Well, that's right. You had to wheel these things that's, in, that's, didn't you? He had like a marble. Yeah, it's marble. It's like, I'm yeah. serious. It was like. <laughs> so how was that before electricity? I mean. <laughs> oh. It was that, but all the time. Yes, mine is carved in stone. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you were saying too when you when you you were the last thing. And when you won, everybody left. Oh, yeah. And you're standing on the stage like... Yeah, yeah, I am being when you say that you got two, two and a half, three hours later oh. time progress, because in my case, I had about 15 minutes. And it, that was just his up. wife and his son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously, it's, it's because the convention adjourned as soon as the contest was over. So there was about a 30-minute window before checkout time. And, and so there was a big rush of people, and then within 30 minutes, the place was empty. Wow. I, I call that uh, going from... <laughs> Going from Mount Everest to Death Valley. <laughs> from champ to chump. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, Mark. Oh, hey. and, and, and frankly, it was a very lonely time that afternoon because as I was walking through the hotel, it was all new people. Mm -hmm. There was no Toastmasters We're still done. around. Mm -hmm. And I was walking around thinking, well, just a few minutes ago, everybody wanted to talk to me. <laughs> Don't you want my picture? <laughs> Can I do something for you? And, and, and no, you were anonymous again. I mean, it was that fast. Well, I went to the airport 
and there was this NBA player, and you, you could tell he was an NBA player, and he had the bling, and he was, you know, almost seven feet tall, and there's a bunch of Toastmasters at the airport. So all of a sudden, people saying, hey, that's that tape, that's the champion. And all of a sudden, people start rushing me at the airport, signing my autograph, blowing back past this yeah. NBA player. I'm thinking to myself, wow. that must Life be the first good. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That oh, that was funny. From California back to New York in 95 when I won, someone on the plane, there were some toast items on my flight. Mm -hmm. And they told the person, the lead attendant, Ooh. who made an announcement over a loudspeaker. Ooh. We have the world champion of public speaking on our flight, Mark Brown, David seat, that you know, 12B. <laughs> and yeah. it was really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, same flight. Yeah, they, they, we were on the same flight. We had to fly out of Toronto together, which is okay. great just to have a couple hours to talk afterwards. Yeah. And he went up and told the. Um, Did you talk or just listen? <laughs> <laughs> All of you got to fly to your location and got to fly home with the trophy. My contest was 180 miles from home. My drive, my drive home, shall we say? My wife was not just overly gushing <laughs> for three hours. <laughs> okay, in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's a Denny's. <laughs> it is a custom that we have one empty seat set at our breakfast of champions in preparation for the person who will become the next world champion. And who also pays it the check. <laughs> no, no, that's for the last world champion. <laughs> he keeps hearing that, he keeps hearing that. And it's not uncommon for us to offer a toast for the person who is about to become the next champion. So to future champions. Ah, salut. Salut. Thank you. Grab a juice, guys. And then we also have a custom that the reigning champion has the opportunity to offer a toast. <clears throat> to be in the company of people who have become the best in the world at something. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't figured out exactly what. But, <laughs> but we are the best in the world at something. And that's a beautiful thing. And I want to just commend each one of you for allowing me to be part of this, for, for welcoming me to the group. And I want to salute I want to salute each one of the people who made that possible. And that includes especially my wife, and my parents, my friends and the people who helped me through that whole process. Let's not forget so, the judges. <laughs> and the swami. And the first the swami. <laughs> To all of us for many years. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Cheers. Gentlemen, times like these are to me just special. Once a year we get together. True. Hopefully get our ego stroke. <laughs> Gary gets his bald head stroke. But to be in your company is special for me. And I hope the time does not fly by quickly for you, Pete. I hope you're able to savor it, to enjoy it. And for the person who will sit there next year, next, next year, hopefully we'll all be able to meet together again in Mac Tucket, Connecticut, whatever that may be. And hopefully, that's where it is? Yeah. yeah. Foxwoods and Casino. Then, and then after that, Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. Oh, man. Oh, that'll be great. Book your tickets now, fellas. Yeah. And we, we need a commitment from everyone. <laughs> If you're in Sydney, we will all together do the Harbor Bridge Run. Oh, absolutely. Together. Absolutely. How cool would that be to have all of us standing on the top of the Harbor Bridge? Mm. That photograph from the top. Yeah. Marketing gold and great memory. Hey, we, well, I'll be know, in the photograph on the ground looking <laughs> up, waving. Yeah. You're going to be up there. I'll be, I'll be grabbing you. We'll, uh, drag, we'll both drag you up. Well, we take you guys to the Great Barrier Reef. We do some diving, you know, swim with the sharks. Hold back that enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're about to go diving in a place like the Great Barrier Reef, every channel has Shark Week. Have you ever noticed this? <laughs> <laughs>